How to select a date and after it a time in your Flutter app using the date and time picker dialogues. Firstly, let's create a daytime object with the year, month and day of the date. And this daytime object we want to display inside of the elevated button. So here we have a text, we display the year, then the month and lastly the day. And now if we click on this button, then we call a method pick date. And inside of this pick date method, we call the show date picker method from the Flutter SDK. Whereas you define first of all the initial date that is always displayed inside of the date picker. And we put it to the daytime object that we have created in our state. And secondly, you also define the date range that you can select. So we can select dates from 1900 to 2100. With this, if I click on this button, we can already choose a date. And lastly, we return then a daytime object, which is nullable. If I click on the cancel button, then we return null. Otherwise, we return a daytime object if we click on OK. Therefore, let's get the state. If it is cancelled, then we get a null value and we return it. Otherwise, if we have clicked on OK, then we want to put this date, our new date that we have picked inside of the daytime object inside of our state. As a result, we can choose a new date and if we click on OK, this date will be displayed inside this button. Next, we add two more arguments to the daytime object, the hours and the minutes. And we want to access the hours and minutes from the daytime object and therefore we basically get from them the hours and minutes and we also convert them so that they are properly displayed inside of our app. And lastly, we use then the hours and minutes inside of this other button that I have created on the right side of the left button that we have already created. And inside of this button, we display then the hours and minutes. And finally, if we press on this button, then we call a new method pick time. And inside of this method, we call a method show time picker, which comes from the Flutter SDK. Inside of it, you need to define the initial selected time. Whereas you create a time of day object and we put then the hours and minutes inside and we access the hours and minutes every time from the daytime object that we have inside of our state. With this, we can click on the time button and then we can choose an hour and also the minutes. And once we click on OK or cancel, then this is returned by this time of day object. And again, like before, if we click on cancel, then a null value will be returned. If we click on OK, then a time of day object will be returned. And we simply want to go then back where we get this time object. And we check then, first of all, if we have pressed the cancel button, then we get a null value as our time back and we return this function. Otherwise, if we have pressed on the OK button, then we create a new daytime object, whereas we put the current year, month and day inside, because this is what we have not modified. We have only modified the time of the daytime object. And after it, we put the time inside that we have modified. Let's also put this new daytime object inside of the daytime object within our state. Let's also go back to the elevated button where we have picked the date before. And here we want to do exactly the same thing because we need to preserve the value of our time if we change the date value. And therefore we first of all create a new daytime object where we put the date inside that we have changed and picked new. And otherwise we want to preserve the time of the current daytime object that we have basically inside of our state. So this time, that we have here at the end inside should be preserved. And of course, we also put then this new daytime object inside of our daytime object. Let's also try it out. We can select first of all the date and this will only modify the left part and we can also change the time and this will only modify the right part, whereas both of them together are stored inside of the daytime object at the top of our state. Let's look at a second variant where we only have one button. So we put inside of the button text, the year, month, day, and also the hours and minutes, everything combined. And now if we press on this button, then we call a method pick daytime. And inside of this method, we call first of all the pick date method that we have created before for picking a date. And secondly, we also pick the time with the pick time method that we have created before. Once we have selected date and time, then we want to combine them both to the daytime object. 
Therefore, first of all, we put the date inside that we have picked. And secondly, the time inside that we have also picked. And both together are a new daytime object that we want to save within the daytime object of our state. With this, if we click on this button, then we choose first of all the date. And if I press on OK, then immediately the time picker will show up and we can choose the hours and minutes also. And if we click on OK, both of them will be updated inside of this button.